Welcome back to another beautiful tutorial with Echo Designs to Fit. If you don't already know me, my name is Chiwendo, the lead creative director, Echo Designs to Fit, the voice you usually hear behind the camera. I know most of you must have seen me, but this is reintroducing myself because this is a new EA. Okay. Today's video, we are going to be learning how to draft a 66 bustier blouse. It is actually a very simple tutorial. And if this is what you you find interesting please stay tuned until the end of this tutorial and then if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do well by hitting the subscribe button don't forget to turn on your post notification to get notifications like this once i upload a new video okay let's quickly dive right into this tutorial welcome back guys first of all i'm going to mark out a starting line which is going to be my shoulder line and i'm going to go ahead and label it my shoulder line from this shoulder line you are going to mark your bust points the under bust points the waist line and then the length of the blouse so I'm going to make use of the full length of this pattern paper, which is 17.25 inches. And from here, from the center, I'm going to go ahead and mark out 2 inches. And this 2 inches is going to be my zipper allowance. Guys, this is the front pattern that we are drafting right now. And I want my front to come with a zipper. In that case, there will be no zip for the back. And once you are done marking out that 2 inches, you are going to go ahead and draw your lines across. And note that if you want your back to have a zip, in that case, you are not going to be having zipper at the front. So I'm going to go ahead and label all my lines. So I have the bust point, the under bust line, the waist line, and then the length of the blouse. So I'm going to go ahead and label this the zipper allowance. And all my measurements are going to start from the line after the zipper allowance so from that point i'm going to divide my shoulder into two whatever i have i mark it out and on the bust line point i'm going to go up by two inches and then i'm quickly going to make sure that i have that same shoulder measurements and then label it my chest line and from the shoulder line, come down by one inch. And that will be your shoulder slope because our shoulder is not straight. And you're going to go ahead and connect this shoulder slope to your chest line, which is the armhole depth. Now we are going to find our neck width and the neck depth. So I'm going to make use of neck width of four inches and then neck depth of four inches and i'm simply going to go ahead and connect it with my curved ruler now if you don't have a curved ruler you can go ahead and eyeball this using your free hand and the shoulder slope you are going to connect it into the neck width okay now you're going to have to divide your armhole depth by two whatever you have mark it out and then go in by half an inch from that same point and you simply go ahead and connect it to the shoulder slope again you are going to from the center front divide your bust circumference by four okay and whatever you have you are going to input it on the chest line and then quickly use your armhole curve to connect your front armhole now 
I have two lines here. This is because I simply want to show you how to go about your front and your back armhole. So the one inward is the front armhole and the one outside is the back armhole. Now once you are done with this, from the center front again on the bust line, you are going to divide your bust circumference by 4 and then you mark. Divide your waist circumference by 4. Mark it and on the length of the blouse, divide your hip circumference by 4 and then you make a mark. So now I need to divide my under bust circumference by 4. Because I almost forgot that. So divide it by 4 and then mark. And then you are going to have to connect all your lines together. So I will simply connect from the chest line to the under busts and then down to the length of my blouse. Now that we are done with this, next step is for us to draft out our princess dart. And to do that, you are going to have to divide your bust pan measurements by 2. So my bust pan measurement is 8 inches divided by 2 plus seam allowance. And you are going to have to mark it on the bust point, under bust point, waist line, and then the length of the blouse. Okay? But then if you don't want to insert this allowance, you go ahead and input just 4 inches. Now... On the bust point line, I'm going to go down by three quarter of an inch and then go up by three quarter of an inch. Okay, now from here we are going to take in our dust and I'm making use of two inches. So I'm going to go ahead and from this princess line, I'm going to come out by two inches on the under bust waist and then the length of my blouse. Okay, and I'm simply going to connect it to the three quarter of an inch below the bust points. Okay, so can you see? I'm trying to create our bustier cup, and then what we are going to do next is to quickly divide what we have on our armhole. Okay, and after you divide it by two. You go ahead and mark it out. So mine was 9 inches. Divided by 2, I have 4.5 inches. I'm going to connect that to what I have above the bust point. Can you see? And next, I'm going to take out that for my armhole. And I'm making use of half an inch right here. This is not constant. You can go ahead and make use of three quarter of an inch. It depends on how you want to tighten that part. Okay. So I made use of half an inch. And I'm simply going to connect it to the point above the bust point. And you guys, once you are done with this, you are going to go ahead and use your curved ruler to blend this up properly well because you don't want any sort of sharp curve so can you see what i did right here and our bustier cups are ready now whatever that you took out from here we are going to have to replace it upward okay from the that leg of the down part can you see what i did if you don't do this the side front is going to be shorter than the center front by the time you join this together. And for us to mark out our new armhole, you are going to have to replace it as well on the chest line point. Okay? So you guys, once you are done with this, next step is for you to insert your stitching allowance. Like I told you, I'm going to be inserting all of my allowances here. Okay? But if you don't want to do that, you can do this on your fabric. Now, on the underboss, I'm going to have to replace the dart intake plus my stitching allowance. Do the same thing for your waist and then on the hip line. And you simply go ahead and connect all these lines together. So you can see the way I'm turning my curve once I get to the hip side, okay? 
you can go ahead and do just like that you can also make use of your straight ruler but i will simply advise you make use of your curved ruler so that that shape will come out perfectly well okay now it's time for us to work on our six pieces blouse okay so what you are going to do is to insert 2.5 inches and this is going to bring out the a shape line for this blouse okay so right on the side front i'm going to take out 2.5 inches and simply connect that to the waistline you can see i'm using a green marker to do this so that will differentiate that from others okay and once you are done with this part you are going to repeat the same thing to the other side as you can see me doing right now and you guys here is optional you can make use of your curved ruler to mark this out or you can make use of your straight ruler for me i want to make use of curved ruler because i will i want that shape to be very pronounced okay so now that we are done with this, next is to go ahead and cut it out, okay? <clears throat> you can see the way I'm cutting it, okay? So I'm just going to stop right here and I will show you what to do next so what i'm going to do next because i don't want this to be very pointy okay i'm going to from that angle go up by 1.5 inches you can make use of one inch okay it depends on what you want and i'm going to go ahead and divide this to note the center and i will simply connect this into the center of my side front so you guys can you see what we have and i will simply go ahead and cut this out okay so i'm going to cut out the side front totally and then we move ahead to the center front okay now you guys remember that when we are cutting out the side front we um went into the center front so we are going to have to use our paper to replace that so and after you replace that you are going to have to mark out your nipple to nipple point as well so you can see that i've completed it what i'm going to do next is to go ahead from that bust point line i'm going to go ahead and mark out 2.5 inches as well and then connect that to the half length so can you see what i'm doing remember like i told you you can make use of your straight ruler for this your a line shape okay and again i'm going to go up by 1.5 inches and then locate the center and connect that into the center i'm going to go ahead and add my shoulder stitching allowance guys you shouldn't forget this it is very important except you want to cut on your fabric okay you leave it and then once you want to cut on fabric you go ahead and input that okay so you can see what i have i'm going to go ahead and cut it out and once i get to that angle i'm going to follow that a line shape and cut it i'm going to as well cut out the neck and then the shoulder and don't forget to notch your zipper allowance so you can see what we have right here we are done with the front block I'm just going to simply label these the center front and the center back 
and you guys now it's time for us to draft out the back block so you can see i've marked out my starting line and then the length of this blouse okay what you are going to do is to first insert the bust points under busts sorry waistline under bust is not needed right here okay for the back and we are going to go ahead and draw our lines across and we label it so i have the shoulder line bust point line waistline and the length of my blouse next i'm going to go ahead and remember that we don't have zip for the back our zip has been transferred to the front so first of all from the center back go ahead and measure your shoulder okay mark it out and from the bust points go up by two inches for your chest line go ahead and mark it out and then label it your chest line now you guys i'm going to go ahead and from the shoulder line come down by one inch which would be for the shoulder slope as usual and then connect shoulder slope to the chest line which is the armhole depth okay now for the back neck line i'm going to make use of neck width of four inches and neck depth of 1.5 inches and i'm going to go ahead and connect this using my curved ruler like i told you if you are if you don't have a curved ruler you can make use of your free hand and then connect your shoulder slope into the neck okay now and divide your armhole depth by two whatever you have mark it out and then connect your armhole all right next you are going to have to divide your ball circumference by four input that on your chest line and your bust points and go down to your waist divide your waist circumference by four mark that out and to the length divide your hip circumference by four and you mark that out and now you are going to have to connect all the lines together okay and now from here again from the center front on the bust point line you are going to divide your nipple to nipple into two okay plus half an inch for stitching allowance so i have mine to be 4.5 inches go ahead and connect it from the bust point down to the length of the blouse now from the length of the blouse you are going to have to come up by two inches okay that is where the that should start from and on the waistline you are going to mark out in and out half an inch all right and i'm going to go ahead and draw my chest line across so that i'll be able to come down by one inch which is where our back that usually start from okay and then you go ahead and connect your dart legs so you can see i'm connecting my dart legs can you see what i'm doing and then once you are done with this you are going to have to go back to our armhole okay so that we'll be able to connect our armhole princess dart for the back all right so remember that we have divided our armhole depth by two so simply connect these into the half an inch above the bust point and then next we are going to have to replace our that our waist that and once you are done replacing your waist that you are going to have to go ahead and input your stitching allowance so I have my stitching allowance to be 2 inches and that is what I am inserting right away. And once I am done with that, I'm going to go ahead and connect all my lines together. And now it's time for us to also input our A line shape for the back, okay? now from the damp part of the side back 
I'm going to go out by 2.5 inches. And once I am done with this, I'm going to connect it into the half length, which is the waistline. Okay, so I want to make use of my green marker as well so that I will differentiate this, all right? And then I'm going over to the other side. And from that line, I'm going to take in 2.5 inches. Now, at this point, you need to pay good attention because... I'm not going to connect this time around from the boss pan. I'm going to connect from the dart, okay? So you are going to connect from the side back that intake, okay? On the waistline. Can you see what I'm doing? And you guys, that would be just it for the side back. Now you are simply going to go up by 1.5 inches because you don't want the damp parts to be pointed and then divide your damp part by 2 to find the middle and then connect this into the middle, okay? And also insert your shoulder stitching allowance. So you guys, I will just go ahead and cut this out. And once we are done with this, we are going to go ahead and work on the center back. Now you can see that we have shortened that center back. So we are going to replace it with another fresh paper. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and tape it down. And after I tape it down, I'm going to, from the center back, go ahead and measure out my nipple to nipple measurements. But before that, I'm going to place another paper right on the back just to simply show you what you should do in case you want tail for the back, okay? But after doing this, I'm going to cut it out because I don't need it. But in case you want it, this is what you should do. Can you see what I'm doing? All right. And then I've marked out my 4.5 inches and I'll connect my lines. And once I was done connecting my lines, I'm going to come out by 2.5 inches. And then from the center back, you're going to go out by 2.5 inches also and then you connect this into the waist okay take note of where i connected this my a line shape you can see i connected it to the that leg of the center back not on the boss pan measurement okay and from there go up by 1.5 inches and then simply connect it to the middle okay and this is what we have okay so we have the side back and then the center back so i'm going to simply rule this out because i'm not going to be making use of this but if you want to make use of this you can leave yours this way okay i'll simply cut this off and that brings us to the end of this tutorial you guys, if this tutorial was helpful, please do make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done yet. I will see you in my next one. Bye.